thankfully I'm free of the nightmare that was the worst hotel ever. It's Thursday, and technically this is the end of the road to Southern Fried because I'm here, I'm in Atlanta. But there's still one day to go before the convention starts. Time to tool around the city and see what neat things we can find. The first half of my day is consumed by thrift stores, antique malls, and retro game shops. Awesome things were acquired, but here are some more of the things I regret not purchasing. This Zenith laptop, for example. I don't know what I would have done with it, but looking back at this footage now, I wish I was messing with it. I haven't played D&D &D in decades, so that and the asking price kept me from grabbing this electronic Dungeons & Dragons game, but still, hmm. Came close to buying this classic Weltron 8-track player since I've been looking for their Spaceball model forever, and figured this would be as close as I ever got to finding one in the wild. Flash forward to a few days after the trip, and my wife has sneakily purchased one for me for our anniversary. She's a good lady. Find me a depiction of a short-haired Yorkie in any thrift store or antique mall, I dare you. This is my challenge to you, just one modern-looking Yorkshire Terrier. How about a custom hand-painted Mini Pearl standee? Everyone's still into Mini Pearl, right? Y'all know who Mini Pearl is? No? Okay. This Smokey and the Bandit 3 poster is the exact kind of thing I would hate purchase. That movie sucks on toast and I would absolutely hang its poster on my wall. But it was just above what I would be willing to spend on a hate purchase. Lunchtime and when in Atlanta, one must eat at the Varsity. It's the law. I know my regular meal choice looks terrible, but trust me when I say this is the finest garbage food in the country. Delicious. Back to stupid things I decided not to buy, and Sean Weatherly's exercise album, sure, I probably should have bought that. It would help me work off those chili dogs. This wood grain clock radio with way too many buttons on it? Yeah, I kinda wish I'd grab this. Now, this one booth owner was totally selling AI-generated art as retro prints. That is pretty scummy. Want to sleep with your gun? Now you can with this stupid gun pillow. More Yorkies from ancient times, and also some motor oil for... I don't know why. Here's a classic Miss Pac-Man cabinet randomly set up in the middle of this one booth. Look good too, but I just... I don't have room for it. Last but not least is probably my biggest regret of the whole trip, even though there's no way I would have spent the amount of money they were asking for. This original Xbox display unit would have been rad to have in my game room if I ever end up with a game room. But man, I'd have cleaned this up real nice so I could have Midtown Madness 3 running at all times. My evening pinball plans once again fall apart, although this time it's not the fault of the arcade, but of the heat. After roaming through at least three huge 60,000 square foot spaces that had no air conditioning whatsoever, I desperately wanted to get a shower and change clothes before heading up to Ackworth, Georgia to check out Portal Pinball. However, once I got into the weekend's hotel room and felt the AC blasting, that was that. I was done for the day. Time to sit around without pants and watch Forensic Files for the rest of the night. This will give me the chance to go over what games and stuff I bought and update my list so that I know what I'm still looking for at the convention tomorrow. So first, let's update the 360 collection. By my best research, I've determined that there were 1,229 physical retail Xbox 360 game releases in North America. And when the trip started, I was at 1,024 games out of 1,229, or 83% completion. Well, as I've said, I've had some good fortune in the last few days. 43 new additions to the collection so far, bringing the completion percentage up to 87%. And I know there's gonna be some good vendors at the convention, so this number is gonna get even higher before the weekend is over. I'm so close. And while there's no completion percentage I can logically place on this other endeavor, I found a bunch more martial arts movies for the collection. I can't wait to dive into these when I get back home. There's some great stuff in here. One of the dumb random things I picked up was this Choose Your Own Adventure knockoff for assholes. Also found a copy of Pinball Summer on DVD, which I didn't even know was on DVD. Yeah, yeah, I know it says Pickup Summer, but this is 1980s Pinball Summer in all its glory. Seemed appropriate to finally own a copy, especially while on a pinball trip. Well, that's it for today. Tomorrow's the reason for the trip as the Southern Fried Gaming Expo kicks off. The banners are already up, and I cannot wait. There's going to be so much to do, and I look forward to sharing some of it with you. See you next time. In my